Hello, I'm Anthony Fernando, President and CEO of Asensa Surgical. Thank you for joining us for an update on the development of our second generation uh, surgical robotic system, LUDA. Here are our forward-looking statements, which you can find uh, on our website. Uh, over the next 10 to 15 minutes, I'm going to talk about, give you a, a recap of the Luna development uh, program progress, uh, then show you some videos on uh, the recently completed uh, labs, and then conclude. We have been uh, developing Luna, our next generation system, for nearly four years and believe it will outperform all other robotic assisted surgery platforms on the market both now and in the future. We have developed the hardware and software architecture of Luna based on our deep understanding of the needs of the surgeons to ensure safety, reliability, performance, and scalability to support continuous enhancements. As we have shared with you previously, the system itself is composed of a number of familiar elements, including the surgeon console featuring unconstrained handles, an interactive touchscreen to access Luna's unique portfolio of digital tools, which include an Ultra HD 3D monitor that does not require the user to wear glasses, and an active eye tracker for camera control. Up to four independent robotic manipulator arms allow for procedural flexibility and design to ease setup and use while delivering high performance to the surgeon. The Luna arm utilizes a patent protected virtual fulcrum to sense and monitor for forces at the incision site and enable the use of standard off-the-shelf trocars. An instrument drive system where the instrument is detected identified, secured, and manipulated, and is designed to support all of the surgeon's needs with respect to advanced instrumentation, such as energy and stapling, to allow the surgeon to remain at the console for the duration of a variety of procedures. A full suite of wristed and straight instruments, including our new true wrist instruments, which are a remarkable five millimeter in diameter. The Luna system is complemented by our Intelligent Surgical Unit, or ISU, a custom-designed medical computer that runs within the operating room during surgery and integrates with the surgeon's vision system. In real time, it manages several data feeds and controls, including the laparoscopic video feed, the robotic platform management, console displays, and more. This real-time information is fully incorporated into the surgical video being seen by the surgeon and dynamically interacts with surgical actions, tool movements, and scene changes. In this way, the ISU provides actionable real-time information to the surgeons when it matters most during an actual surgical procedure. This support will enable surgeons to be more efficient by saving time and reducing costs, will help eliminate accidental errors and improve overall patient safety, and will help surgeons make the most effective decision, all in real time during a procedure. Ultimately, the ISU will enable consistently better surgery, resulting in improved outcomes and reduced costs to the healthcare system. We have made significant progress on the development of the Luna system over the course of 2023. One of our key milestones in the development process is a lab where we allow surgeons to evaluate the functionality of the hardware, software, and instruments through in vivo porcine models and gather feedback. I'm pleased to share that we successfully completed this milestone in mid-December 2023, where we had nine surgeons in Research Triangle Park, North Carolina, complete a total of 13 procedures across gynecology, urology, and general surgery using the Luna system over four days. What follows is a short video of the lab showing the system in use 
and interviews with some of the surgeons who share their perspectives from the experience. While the complete lunar system will include a number of unique surgical intelligence features, it is important to note that this lab was focused on the hardware, software and instrumentation and thus you will not see any video of the intelligent surgical unit as it was not used in this lab. What you will see in this video are a number of key attributes and features that we think will make Luna a compelling system for surgeons, OR staff and hospitals. Specifically, you will see the following features clearly demonstrated. Range of motion and system dexterity throughout our targeted procedural range. Strength and reliability of our 5mm true wrist instrumentation line, including the use of passive, monopolar and bipolar energy instrument types. The ergonomic benefits and the freedom of motion of the Luna Surgeon Console. Available space around the operating table and patient access. With that, let's hear from the team. So some of the things that we really focused on in development of the Luna platform were to enable clinicians to reduce the invasiveness relative to standard and traditional robotics programs. So going from the eight millimeter standard in overall instrument diameter down to our five millimeter true wrist line was a core motivation for the engineering team for the past many years. And the, the core of that desire is really to enable us to return to the laparoscopic standard of five millimeter. We saw a very dramatic adoption of laparoscopy relative to open as a result of that reduction in invasiveness. And we, we didn't see that when you introduced the, the robotics to the world. And I believe that with this five millimeter instrument line, uh, with all the strength and capabilities that a surgeon needs for a variety of procedures, you're gonna see another uptick in adoption. So I had the opportunity to use Luna for the first time today. I had access to the entire room and they can hear me just using my normal voice without a microphone. I was able to see the patient, you know, without taking my head out of a console. The big difference with Luna is that they're five millimeter articulating instruments. And that means a much, much smaller incision. Uh, we're going from eight to five and sometimes even 12 to five incision. And uh, the patients are gonna notice that. Less pain, less discomfort, and certainly better cosmesis is uh, what we're expecting with these instruments. I like the fact that you can uh, rest your arms on the chair and still you have the full a range of motion with the hand pieces. So they, uh, there were no restrictions in all three dimensions I had to use. And this is what I really like. When using Iluna, you can really understand that you are not using the second generation Sanahan system, but that's a different robotic system, even though some of the achievements and some of the developments are used while, while making this new robotic system. So I could really feel that I was using, performing different kind of surgery, true robotic surgery with true and wrist instruments, which is, I think, to my mind, is very important. When I think about the use of five millimeter instruments, uh, the reality is most of robotics today is using eight millimeter instruments. Yes, I think Luna is also bridging the gap of minimally invasive to robotics, as the majority of minimally invasive surgery is done with five millimeter instruments. Um, I think that smaller incisions, it's less pain, less potential for infection, et cetera. The articulation that I experienced today was equal to that of pre-existing you know, robotic instrumentation. So I think you are capturing full range of motion, you're capturing um, full ability of these instruments in a five millimeter as opposed to the traditional eight millimeter instruments. I think the touch screen is a big advantage and you do not have to uh, leave your uh, position. You can stay in the same position that you're already in and uh, so that's very, very convenient and very easy to use. The, the open console is something I really like the, um, the free range of motion you have with the hand pieces and uh, the digital features that will be available in the future such as you know the, the no-fly zones, uh, the visualization of uh, critical structures, 
and uh, vessels, nerves. This, I would say, is a benefit. So from the patient perspective with the Luna platform, we've been much more focused on bedside work as well as reducing the overall invasiveness of the system. And that started with our five millimeter true wrist instrument line, but also has involved us tailoring some of the work that we've done with Synhance with our digital virtual fulcrum. That's a patent protected area that we've had a lot of success with. And so we took that and we've actually added some more dynamic algorithms to monitor those forces throughout the life of the procedure. So as a patient moves or uh, pneumo is changing, we're able to address that actively across a wide range of BMIs. And we believe that this will really influence overall recovery rates as the tissue forces throughout a long procedure are much, much lower. When I'm talking to patients um, about the benefits of robotic surgery, uh, whether it's family members that are trying to understand you know, what type of approach uh, to take on a surgical issue that they're having or where to go. We talk about the benefits of a robotic sy system in that it can be very precise and it allows the surgeon to be in even more control than they are um, by the bedside. So the instruments allow the surgeon, or the system allows the surgeon to pause um, and make sure that they're doing what they want to be doing and attack the kind of um, problem in a, in a very pragmatic way. And so um, I think that's something that I emphasize to people that are considering one approach versus another is that it makes the surgeon a lot more comfortable and that they're going to do what they set out to do. What I think is very good about Luna is that this is an open cockpit and that you can uh, sit uh, on a chair and uh, that it's, I think it's better for your uh, musculoskeletal uh, system. The, also, the thing I appreciate very much is that you, with an open console, you have a direct contact with the uh, operating theater and with the nurses, and you can see the patient. So I think for the communication, it's much better. So if I have to explain to a patient that I'm gonna do surgery on the patient, and I first explain the surgery, and then I say, we're gonna do it with a robotic system. It's more precise, it's gonna help me do the perfect roles, because if you, turn your arm, you normally don't have a precise 360 degrees movement. So if you turn the wheel, you have a perfect 360 degrees movement. Um, the camera is standing perfectly still. It's a 3D system, so you can see it um, much better as in any other kind of surgery. And of course, then um, you work more precise, so you have less tissue damage. It's better for my hands because I'm not like lifting the weight of a patient. I'm not um, like doing a movement that's not that precise and the patient is benefiting from that. Seeing this early version of Luna, I'm, I'm pretty excited for what's to come. I think the ease of use, the simplicity of instrument exchange, the information that the arms give to the operating room team in real time, that information is reflected to the surgeon on the console. That's all going to just elevate the robotic surgery experience to a level that most surgeons have not seen yet. I do think that there are ergonomic components to that, um, that factor in just as other robotic platforms. But I also think I'm looking forward to the ISU capabilities um, because those are things that I think really represent the next wave of surgery. Um, the addition of you know, artificial intelligence and how we work with surgeons to make you know, surgery safer. I think to me, that is what I look forward to most. Thank you all for joining us for this exciting update on the development of the Luna system. We are pleased with the performance of the Luna system over the four days in the lab and the feedback we receive from the participating surgeons. We will use these learnings to progress this late stage engineering prototype and improve the final fit and finish into a high tech final product state. During our upcoming fourth quarter earnings release, we will share what's next and confirm our timelines for the remainder of the Luna development and regulatory submission timelines. Before we close, I would like to take a minute to thank the entire census team for their efforts in the development of Luna and for making this recent lab such a success. Thank you for your interest in Ascensus Surgical and for taking the time to watch this update.